morning children welcome to class 2 today we are going to learn expanded form and short form so let us begin children already we have learned expanded or short form of two digits number in numerals chapter so today we will learn expanded or short form in short form in three digits number children it first let me tell you what we mean by expanded form The sum of place values of digits in hundreds, tens, and ones place is called expanded form. I have written here the sum of place values of digits in hundreds, tens, and ones place is called expanded num expanded form. So let's expand these numbers. We will take if one example four hundred ninety three. Look at the example four hundred ninety three, and we have to expand these numbers. So firstly, we will write. Firstly, we will assign its position. That is hundred, tens, and ones. Hundred, tens, and ones. Children, four is in the hundreds place. So the place value of four is four hundred. Plus nine is in the tens place. So the place value of nine is ninety. The three is in the ones place. So the place value of three is three only. Children. In words, we will write like this: four hundreds plus nine tens plus three ones. Let's take one more example: five hundred twenty twenty-seven. Again, we will assign its position: hundred tens and ones. So, what is the five is in the hundreds hundreds column? So its place value is five hundred plus two is in the tens column. So the place value of two is twenty. Three seven is in the ones ones column. So the place value of seven is seven only. In numerals we will write like this. Sorry, in words we will write like this: five hundred plus two tens and seven ones. Seven ones. I hope you are clear with expanded form, children. Now let's come to short form. Children, what we mean by short form? When the face values of the expanded numbers are combined, we get short form or standard form. We can say that short form is the reverse form of expanded form. So let's take example six hundred plus seventy plus five. Again, we have to assign its position: hundreds, tens, and ones. So then, look at look at here. Six hundred it will come under hundred. So we will write here only six. Seventy is seventy is come comes under. Tens place, so we will write here only seven. Five is in the ones place, so we will write here only five. So our short form is six hundred seventy five. One day we will take one more example. Five hundred plus three. Look at the example, children. Five hundred plus three. First we will assign its position hundred tens and ones. This you can do with addition also. It's very easy. But we will we will doing. But we are doing short form. But we are doing short form here. So firstly we will assign its position hundred tens and ones. So children, look at the word five hundred plus three. So five hundred it will come under hundred. So we will write here only five. Children, look at here. There is is there any tens tens here? Is there any tens here? No. So we will leave. We will leave this. Now we will leave this and come. Three is in the tens column, tens place. So we will write here only three. So what is in the tens place? If if nothing is given here, we will put zero. If nothing is given here, we will put zero. So our short form is five hundred three. Five hundred. Three. Let's take one more example. Seven hundred plus 
90 plus 5. We will take assign this position 100. 700 comes under uh, 100's place. So we will write here only 7. So we will write here 7. 90 is in tens column. So we will write here 9 only. 5 is in the 1. So we will write here only 5. So our answer is 795. So children, I hope you all are, you all understood that. So our next topic is successor and finisher. Thank you.